on guys we are in knoxville today and as you can see there are a lot of classic cars behind me we are hanging out at the cabin fever car show this weekend it is friday saturday and sunday all weekend long uh friday's hours which is today is uh, five to eight tomorrow is saturday it'll be eight to eight and then on sunday it will be eight to four so i am not a car guy it's not my thing never have been a car guy but wanted to show you guys some things that go on in knoxville we cover a lot of pigeon forge dollywood theme parks things like that and this year 2024 i want to show you more of what goes on in knoxville so in this video we're going to show you the cabin fever car show if you're into cars you're into classic cars you're into new cars you're into any kind of car this video is for you you guys ready let's go check out some of these cars So in this video, my entire goal is basically just to show you what's here. Uh, so I'm just going to do a sort of a walk around of the entire um, property. Now this is the I-75 Expo Center here in Knoxville. It's uh, right off, well, off I-75, uh, Clinton Highway, Merchants Road area, if you know Knoxville. That's where this is at. And I believe this is the 39th, I'll double check on that, but I believe this is the 39th year for this. It might be the 40th year. We're in that 39, 40 year range. Anyway. So, I, like I said, I'm just going to show you guys around, show you everything that's going on here. Uh, there are more than just classic cars here. There's also a uh, little area over here where they sell a bunch of stuff, antiques and toys and collectibles, things like that. But basically, this is a car show. So, we're going to show you all the classic cars. Now, again, I'm just going to show you these cars because I don't even know what most of them are. Like I said, I'm just not a car guy. If it says on it what it is, then I'll, I'll tell you what it is. But I'm just not a car guy. I never have been, did not grow up. My, my dad wasn't a car guy, so I just didn't grow up as a car guy. We're sports people. Baseball, hockey, soccer, football. Like, that's what we do. We don't do cars. So, but since we're here, we're going to show it to you anyway. Now, like I said, this is the Expo Center. Knoxville Expo Center. Again, right off Merchants Road. As you can see, there's nobody in here right now. The show actually starts in a few hours. But uh, I'm going to come in and show you guys around anyway. This is probably going to be one long continuous video from this point on out. Because I'm just going to walk through and show you guys all the vehicles. Okay, maybe not all, but at least a lot of them. There's a lot of them here. Like I said earlier, you kind of get a little bit of everything here. You get muscle cars. You get drag racers. There are classic cars. If you see a favorite car, leave it in the comment if you know what it is. Don't expect me to know. We've already discussed that. I mean, I like to look at them. I just don't know anything about them. I do like the color of this. Sort of a mint green color. It's got some buffaloes on the hood. Fifty nine Corvette. I 
I do like these classic trucks. I'd like to have something like this myself. I think if I was going to have a classic vehicle, I would want just something like this. Just a plain, sort of simple, classic vehicle. Or like a rat rod. I really like rat rods. Chevrolet Apache. It's even got a Schwinn bicycle in the back of it. It's a 59 Apache. It's a GTO. The Greek Chariot. It's a 67 Chevelle. And one of the reasons I wanted to come in early and kind of show you guys this stuff it gets loud in here once they start letting people in this is a pretty popular car show um, and it gets really really loud in here so sometimes it's kind of hard to hear so I wanted to come in show you guys around before it gets too crazy in here I like this Bel Air. Like, I think it's a cool looking car, just not my style. It's beautiful, just, I don't know, just not my thing. We all have our things, I guess. This old Impala. Yes, that's cool. A 52 Jeep. It's a Willys. Now we're gonna go over and walk through the, uh, well, I don't know what you call that. It's sort of a yard sale, car corral. They sell parts and toys and magazines and antiques and junk and a little bit of everything. So we're gonna walk over here and just kind of take a stroll through it and show you guys that as well. So this is sort of the flea market style setup they've got over here. And if you're into uh, NASCAR bodies, parts, they've got some of those here. A couple different ones. But again, they got uh, collectible cars. Some pictures. Again, car parts. Some sunglasses, t-shirts. More cars. Some models. Hot Wheels. Happy, uh, 
Happy Mill toys. There's some more uh, old NASCAR car parts. There's an old Pontiac door frame back there. Let's go check that out. Michael Walter. Number 30, it says. More cars. And then you got car parts. Old car parts, take off stuff. New car parts. Some antique toys. Helmets. More t shirts. We're going to cut through here for some tires. Need a tire? I got a tire or three. Vintage Coca Cola sign. It's only $785. I'll take two of them. Back over this way, you got more Hot Wheels. Some jackets, some more tires. There's even more tires, a lot of tires, a lot of tires. More of the car parts. More than NASCAR. A lot of NASCAR collectibles here. If you're in NASCAR stuff, this is kind of a good place to come. Now, I saw these earlier. I'm going to point these out to you guys. It's something a little different. It's kind of like old suitcases and briefcases and things like that that are all painted up. Different versions of them. So yeah, that's something different, kind of cool. So maybe not for everybody, but I think those are kind of cool. All right, moving on. More car parts. I don't know what these are. What are these guys? If you know what that is, tell me. Because I got no clue. It's like owner's manuals. And more car parts. Windshield wipers. Classic windshield wipers. Old license plates. Turn the corner. More vintage license plates, signs, more car parts. It's an old, uh, looks like a vintage radio. It's kind of cool. More parts. More parts. There's some vintage toys over here. Saw some comic books as well. Kind of in rough condition, but they got comic books. There's some old vintage toys, also sort of in rough condition, but they're vintage. They're old. Steering wheels, need a steering wheel. Got plenty here. Yeah, 
This is a large sign, and it's got neon on it. I'm going to guess that's not cheap. This is kind of cool. Ugh, fireball. Fireball might be the worst whiskey ever made. There's some uh, vintage Coca-Cola stuff. I like how we say vintage now. We don't say it's old. It's just vintage. There's some more toys, license plates. Hey, look, Disney cars. Something I've never seen before. More Hot Wheels. License plates. All right, that's basically it for this little area. Like I said, they kind of carry just several different things. A little bit of everything. If you're into collecting junk like I am, well, this is a good place to come to. I have not bought anything yet. Keyword there would be yet. I'm sure I'll end up taking something home. But there you go. Let's go check out some more cars. Alright, we are back over at the cars start with this 1955 Ford oh excuse me I can't read it's a 35 see that's all you don't know cars it's 35 Ford coupe not a 55 whatever it's nice it's pretty that's what I know about it El Camino Personally, I think that's the ugliest car on the face of the planet. I hate El Caminos. I don't know why, but I always have. I mean, that one's lovely, but I just don't like El Caminos. This is a heck of a thing. It's a 1957 Ford Fairlane Skyliner. So it's a convertible. But the convertible top looks like it just kind of goes back into the trunk and stays like it's a hard top convertible. Wow. That's interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those before. Huh. Wow. Okay. Moving on. Pink Cadillac, 56 Cadillac, That's kind of cool. The old drive up style. I'm easily amused, what can I say? All right, we're going to cross over here. 
Let's see what else we can find. Like I said, this is one of the biggest car shows of of the year. It's the biggest car, one of the biggest car shows here in this area. You do have another car show they do at uh, Chilhowee Park here in Knoxville. But uh, this is definitely for a winter car show. This is one of the bigger ones. No, it's not like the Rod Run where people have got their cars up there and they're driving around cruising and making traffic miserable this is uh, they come in they park their cars they get out they clean them and you come in and look at them these cars will be sitting here until uh sunday at four o'clock i try to avoid rod run weekends and pigeon forge um at all cost i absolutely uh will not go up there on a rod run weekend just not my thing fighting the traffic's not worth it this is kind of cool excuse me gentlemen I'm slide right behind you here excuse me they're tempting yeah yeah Nice Camaro. I like the color of that one. It is a 69 Camaro. nice truck. Both these trucks are nice. I like the color of this one. 69 Chevy C10. I used to work with a guy that absolutely was in love with these style Monte Carlos. It's like his dream car. Billy. Billy boy. Not really my thing, but Billy sure did love the Monte Carlo. This this style of Monte Carlo. That's all he talked about. is an interesting contraption. It's a uh, Volkswagen thing. Pretty cool. 73 Volkswagen thing. That is a large vehicle right there. Excuse me, gentlemen. <laughs> and now you see why I tried to come in early and film because it's kind of tight in here and it gets, I'm telling you, it gets so crowded. Saturday afternoon, about 11 till 3 or 4 o'clock is insane in this place. So I wanted to come in and film for you guys. If you're into cars and if you're not, hey, that's okay too. Like I said, we're going to do a lot more Knoxville-based things this year. We're still going to be doing Dollywood and all our normal theme park stuff.
but we're going to mix in some new things this year. Now this thing here I really, really like. I don't even know what it is. Let's see. It's a 66 Chevy panel truck. So it's designed to look like a, a rat rod, sort of rat rodded out. Got the uh, painted rust on it. But I like the little Sweeney Circus here on the side. I don't know. Just like it. You like what you like. I like what I like. And we'll agree that they're all nice. How's that? And again, if you see something here that you like, see something you'd like to own, let me know. Leave a comment. I'm curious to see what you guys are interested in. I love the color of this thing. Very, very interesting color. Let's go over and see what this is. It's a Dodge of some of some type. It is a 36 Dodge truck. So there you go. It's a 68 Camaro. As you can see, there are more vendors back here. Some of them are still setting up. There's a, uh, a Hummer, an H2. Creekmore Trucking and Lumber. Newcomb, Tennessee. I don't know where Newcomb, Tennessee is. Sixty nine Mercury Cyclone shows that it's a Kale Yarborough special. He's got a trailer equipped with it. That's interesting. This is a uh, 1970 Mustang. I'll show you the inside of it here because it doesn't exactly have the Sort of a retro fit. Very cool though. That paint is like a high glitter paint. It's got a lot of sparkle, a lot of flake in it. That's nice. It's a 72 Chevrolet pickup. That orange paint just pops off of it. Wow. Classic. Nothing crazy done inside of it. 
bed is really nice. That's a nice truck. I really like that. It's the Dick Tracy Mafia style car. Volkswagen. Corvette. You know, I've never been a Corvette guy. I do like the body style of the new Corvettes. But just never been a big Corvette guy. No particular reason, I guess. It's an interesting car. It's a 73 Triumph Spitfire. Another vet. Fifty two Ford. It's a good looking car. I like the color of it. Sort of a Dr. Pepper color. It's an interesting contraption. Like I said, you're going to see just a little bit of everything in here. I do believe that there uh, has to be 1999 or older. I don't believe they allow any 2000 or newer cars in the show. I could be wrong about that, but I do not believe that I am. This old Thunderbird. It's a 1960 Ford Thunderbird. Look how long that car is. Look at that. It is a long car. Comet. I proved myself wrong. This is a 2000 Ford pickup truck. So I guess they do allow a 2000 in here.
70 Beetle. There's another Thunderbird. It's a 56 Thunderbird. The Georgia Shaker 3. Yeah, it's got wheelie bars on the back of it. I kind of figured it might. That's another thing. I'm not into drag racing. I do like NASCAR, but not into drag racing. Been to regular drag racing, been to NHRA. Just not my thing. For those of you that love it, congratulations. Not for me. Right, guys that's it showed you all the cars here at the 2024 cabin fever car show in Knoxville Tennessee again I am NOT a car person but I can appreciate them and I wanted to show you guys something different like I said we're gonna do a lot of different things here this year on the channel we're not gonna focus solely on everything going on in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg we're still gonna be doing that stuff don't worry but we're gonna be doing some other stuff as well I want to venture out do some different things it's my channel might as well so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and remember life is hard enough keep it amusing we'll see you guys next time